For this year's compact SUV comparison, Kelly Blue Book's editorial team traced a circuitous path through the desert and mountains of California in a Ford Escape, Mazda CX-5, Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, Hyundai Tucson, Kia Sportage, and Honda CRV. Let's start with the 2016 CRV. Honda's current generation compact is a longtime favorite at the Blue Book and among car buyers for its clever interior, agreeable road manners, and excellent value. All of those traits remain, but at long last, the CRV is starting to show its age. Key complaints include inadequate driving position adjustability, excessive reliance on plastic throughout the cabin, and a convoluted infotainment system set in a complicated dash. With all that on the table, we still appreciate accommodating rear seats that lower easily from a vast cargo area, sporting a conveniently low load height. We also like the CRV's smooth ride, pleasing handling, and powertrain, which includes a continuously variable transmission that delivers both commendable fuel economy and good drivability. Where efficiency, reliability, resale value, and overall usability are concerned, the Honda CRV still stands tall, but an increasingly excellent competitive set is hard to ignore. One of those competitors is the 2017 Ford Escape whose refreshed exterior looks especially good adorned with the sport appearance package. Aside from the carryover base 2.5 liter, the engine bay also received a makeover with new 1.5 liter and 2 liter EcoBoost engines, the latter developing prodigious power in our titanium trim tester. That surplus power was intoxicating, but also accompanied by an issue where our Escape would periodically trip into a temporary limp mode. It's an issue we've never seen before, but Ford's guess was an electronic glitch with our pre-production model. Pre-production gremlins aside, the Escape won praise for its comfortable seats, flexible driving position, not quite CRV roomy but roomy nonetheless cargo hold, and hushed cabin. Sitting center stage in that hushed cabin is an available 8-inch Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible Sync 3 infotainment system that handily eclipses previous iterations of Sync. Further bolstering the Escape's tech appeal are optional driver aids like adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and an automatic parking system that handles parallel and head-in parking spots. Just remember that technological brilliance when paired with a panoramic sunroof, hands-free power hatch, all-wheel drive, and other delights can drive the price to nearly $40,000. Even so, the Ford Escape's advanced technology, sophisticated ride and handling, and alluring style make it an intriguing choice. You dig good looks but aren't into the escape, consider the 2016 Hyundai Tucson. This once bargain focused option is the Ricky Lake makeover of the compact SUV set. Look at me now! Its superficial charms hide a refined ride, an efficient and powerful optional 1.6 liter turbocharged engine, and exceeding maneuverability. To that last point, an impressively tight turning circle, unimpeded visibility, and a large backup camera display make the Tucson a natural in urban settings. On the open road, we adored the supple suspension while noting that despite improvements over years past, the steering still lags in feel and responsiveness. Our editors also took issue with the occasional harsh gear changes of our test car's seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Pro tip, if you want to avoid the dual clutch, choose the base Tucson SE trim with its 2-liter engine and conventional 6-speed automatic. On a more positive note, the attractive, functional cabin is a welcoming place, highlighted by up-level materials, handy reclining rear seats, and an 8-inch infotainment system with physical menu buttons, an intuitive interface, and available Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration. Overlook its smaller-than-average cargo bay, less than dazzling steering, and the aforementioned dual-clutch refinement issues, and the Hyundai Tucson distinguishes itself as an attractive compact SUV made all the more attractive by a lengthy 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. For maximum driving fun, compact SUVs are a questionable solution. But if you truly need a compact SUV, the Mazda CX-5 is the fun lover's choice. That fun manifests in corners via good grip, engaging steering, well-controlled body lean, and a ride that's firm but not harsh. Building on that fun-loving nature, the 2016 CX-5 has been subtly revised with refreshed styling and a quieter cabin that remains as functional and attractively monochromatic as ever. On the downside, there are no rear vents, and rear seat legroom is tight for taller occupants. 
Behind those slightly cramped occupants is an average-sized cargo hold that lacks a power hatch option, though 40-20-40 folding rear seats are a nice touch. On the infotainment front, Mazda's system lands mid-pack, according to our testers, who appreciated its ergonomics but wished for a larger screen and better voice recognition. While not the most powerful SUV in our test, hat tip to the Escape, our CX-5's 2.5-liter engine easily kept pace on the freeway and up mountain grades. According to the EPA, 35 highway MPG is possible with the CX-5's base 2-liter engine, but given that it and the more powerful 2.5-liter share an identical 29 MPG combined rating, we'd go with the 2.5. Blending beautiful looks and joyful handling in a decently practical package, the Mazda CX-5 appeals to both the brain and the heart. If price is your primary concern, the 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport might be worth a gander. Boasting the lowest base price of the group and a Hyundai matching 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, the Outlander Sport is cheap to buy and own. Then again, if you ever plan to sell your Mitsu, poor resale values will come back to bite you. In terms of size, the Outlander is small, nearly bridging the gap between compact and subcompact SUVs. That makes it easy to glide into tight parking spots, but unsurprisingly, interior space ranks worst in our test. Despite having the least powerful engine in our comparison, the Mitsubishi was not the most efficient, with real-world numbers landing just shy of EPA estimates. Still, power is adequate for passing when needed. In motion, comfort trails the competition, the pleasant seats and unencumbered outward visibility made for agreeable driving. Buy a Mitsubishi Outlander Sport and it'll probably meet your needs just fine, depending on your needs. But with a flexible budget, there are more efficient, more refined, and more enjoyable compact SUVs to consider. When looking at the all-new 2017 Kia Sportage, its distinctive face might attract or repel. Either way, there's more than enough substance beneath to justify a closer look, starting with a well-constructed, simply arranged cabin we very much enjoy. In back, reclining seats enhance the already abundant head and legroom, while an available rear USB outlet rear vents, and a nifty center armrest with cup holders reinforce the good vibes. Out back, luggage space is merely average, and the second row cannot be lowered from the cargo area, but we appreciate the Sportage's flat load floor and optional automatic opening tailgate. Our Sportage EX sits mid-pack power-wise, but real-world acceleration was more than acceptable given the EPA's estimated fuel economy figures. During parking maneuvers, average outward visibility might have annoyed us were it not for a standard backup camera and optional front parking sensors. Like the Tucson and Outlander Sport, the Kia Sportage also comes with a 5-year, 60,000-mile basic warranty and a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Toss excellent resale values on the pile, and buyers previously unsure about the Kia brand have plenty to feel good about. Bottom line, there are precious few reasons not to test drive the latest Kia Sportage. And that is a super brief look at our 2016 Kelly Blue Book compact SUV comparison. For even more brilliant insights about each vehicle, just breeze your way through our complete compact SUV comparison coverage.